everybody, I'm Katie, a Babyless Scout, and I'm here to tell you about the Pudge Tub. This thing is so helpful. When my husband and I first had our son Brave, we were all excited to give him his first bath, but it was kind of a mess. We started off in the tub, but he pooped, so we moved him to the sink, we put a towel in there, but that thing was soaked, it took forever to dry. He peed while we were giving him a bath, so we had to drain the water, start again, it was a mess, true story. <laughs> then we found the Pudge Tub. This is a sink insert tub. It's amazing and I'm gonna tell you why. First off, you're gonna use it in the sink, not in the tub. The reason this is awesome is because it's gonna save you or back and is especially great for recovering moms. So instead of bending over a tub to bathe your baby, you literally just step up to the sink and you're ready to go. Secondly, the Pudge Tub is made of foam, so it's really soft. Now a lot of tubs on the market are made of hard plastic, usually have some sort of a cloth insert to be soft, but that takes forever to dry, which leads me to my next awesome point, the Pudge Tub doesn't absorb water, so there's basically no drying time. Not only does it not absorb water, it doesn't collect water. Those little openings on the side are gonna continually let the water drain out, which is awesome if you have a bath time pier like I do. <laughs> if I wanna get brave clean, that water's gotta keep draining. But the best part about the Pudge Tub, you guys, the best part is storing it. It folds flat. So it's so much easier to find a space for this flat surface that doesn't need time to dry. You could get a hook and hang it in your shower or like a parent friend showed me, she just uses the magnets to stick it up against her washer or dryer. Mind blown. You guys, I live in an apartment. Space is not on my side. So the fact that I can give Brave a bath open this thing up, stick it to the side of my washer or dryer and walk away and it's basically vanished until it's time for bath time again, that's a product I can get behind. Now, for all the pros of the Pudge Tub, there's gotta be a couple downsides, right? Well, first of all, the Pudge Tub is not a forever tub. It's only gonna fit your baby till they're about 17 pounds or around six months, which brings me to my next downside, which is it's a little bit pricey. So you're spending a little bit more for something that you can't use long-term something to keep in mind. I think the biggest downside of the Pudge Tub is the fact that you wanna make sure it fits your sink. Now, it will fit most standard sized sinks, but what that means is 12 to 16 inches front to back, 12 to 15 inches side to side, and six and a half to nine inches deep. So before you stick the Pudge Tub on your registry, you gotta grab your tape measure and measure your sink and make sure it will fit, which is gonna be a huge hassle because if you're like me, you have no clue where your tape measure is. If you can't tell, I'm a big fan of the Pudge Tub. I love this thing. I love that it drains the water out from a bath time pier. I love that it folds flat, easy storage, no drying time. I'm a fan, even if Brave has almost outgrown it already, which is really sad. I still am so glad that we had the Pudge Tub. I hope this information has been helpful for you guys. If you want more information on picking out the best bathtub for you and your baby, check out Babyless Guide Best Baby Bathtubs on babyless.com. Happy registering, and I'll see you next time.